Bright Spot, sponsored by Connecticut Lighting Sense. We are learning about something fishy that's been going on in western Connecticut, where two landlocked sharks are making quite the splash. Here's Channel 3's Nicole Nalepa. I was shopping at our local store, Carluzzi's, uh, one day, and I saw them. A pair of sharks spotted in Bethel. I had no idea who they were or what they were doing. Hannah Littman soon found out she wasn't alone. Apparently, there were a lot of these shark sightings. People in town were posting pictures of them and videos of them. From the grocery store. My most favorite picture is they're like at the lobster tank <laughs> in their shark costumes, right? At the park. They'll sit on a, a park bench and read the newspaper. <laughs> on the street. People were out walking their dogs, so they had like a baby shark on a stick. Car parades. They were in the teacher parade, and they were like, students keep studying. You know, they had signs. And special occasions. A woman retired recently, and uh, they showed up to congratulate her. There are little kids' birthdays that they'll go and show up. They've even helped welcome people home from the hospital. There was a gentleman who was in uh, Danbury Hospital on the ventilator, and he uh, uh, came home. And the next day, they went and danced on his lawn and welcomed him home. But who is behind these inflatable shark costumes? I don't know them. I do not know who they are. I that still remains a great mystery. What we do know is that one is a high school kid and one is a college kid and their siblings. After doing a little digging, we were able to make contact with the sharks through email. They wouldn't disclose their names, but they did release this statement. Quote, we ordered shark costumes once our schools went online. Our neighborhood was so quiet and it was depressing, so we decided it would be fun to order some kind of inflatable costumes and go out and just act normal and walk down the street wearing them. After we saw that our neighbors were hysterical over the sharks, we decided to take it downtown for just one day. The town went into a shark frenzy. I mean, these are kids that are, that have this huge heart, two huge hearts. <laughs> and as much as they've been loving their time on land, they'll be swimming back to sea when things get better and people are back together. This town is an amazing town and this is just like proof of that. With today's Bright Spot, I'm Nicole Nalepa.